Okay, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel. So today's video, we're going to talk about the city, or rather Mayor Adams, that piece of shit, uh, dropping the hammer on NYPD and FDNY as to when they are firing the rest of the people who are on LWAP. LWAP is leave without pay. So a lot of the guys that took that hit because they didn't want to take the shot, all of those guys will be fired come February 11th. That's next Friday. They are giving them time to get the shot. If they don't get the shot by February 11th, they will be fired. So for those of us, including myself, who were hoping that he might turn this around or that some lawsuit or, or court order will turn this around, that seems not to be the case anymore. That ship has sailed. Uh, Eric Adams wanting to turn this around, I sort of knew that back in the end of December, early January, that he didn't want to turn this around. He was adamant about everyone being uh, juiced up, vaccinated, right? So now you're probably, and, and listen guys, I have, to, I have to be honest, I don't think there are many of us LWAP dudes left. Sorry, I'm not on LWAP, I'm retired. I don't think there are a lot of LWAP guys left. There's a few. With those few, I think they did the calculation, the mayor's office, they sat downtown and they go, all right, there's probably a couple hundred dudes we could do without them. We got a new class of uh, recruits going in. I, if I'm not mistaken, NYPD, they always have a fucking class of recruits going in. And I think the fire department got a new class going in. Either they went in a couple weeks ago or they're just about to go in. So they got, an, uh, they got fresh blood coming in. So guys, the city... And this has always been known. This is not a secret. This is not some shit that we, we, we all stumbled upon. We all knew that the city looks at us as numbers. That's it. They don't look at us as, you know, the individual person. They don't look at, like, me, Jason Charles. No, they look at me as a fucking number, right? Whatever fucking number they gave me, that's the number I am to the city. That's all we are. We're nothing more than that. But when you die, all of a sudden you're a fucking, you know, a, a city hero. But before that and after that, if you leave before you die... You're just a fucking number. You're a shit bag. That's all you are. That's all we are to the city. So Eric Adams is proving us right once again. He is looking at us as numbers and he's going, fuck these dudes. If they don't want that shot, then they're going to leave. We're going to fire them, terminate them immediately come February 11th. No if and or buts about it. So a lot of guys might be retiring. A lot of guys might be putting in their, uh, their papers probably this week. Because come Friday, they're going to get fired. And a lot of guys are going to roll over and get the shot. Now, I don't know what the numbers are of guys that are unvaccinated still or on LWAP still. But the finish line is coming up. And Eric Adams gave everyone that finish line. Now, I went through my retirement completely because I knew that he wasn't going to reverse it. Even though I did try to pull my paper uh, to go back on LWAP. And when they said no, I was like, fuck it. That'll be that. It's done. And then January came around and I heard a speech about booster shots. I was like, well, he's not going to reverse anything. So it's good that I put my, my, my paperwork in. It's good that I left when I left because it's not getting any better. It's only going to get worse. So, guys, with that being said, um, that's it. It's done. For, the, for everyone else who's on LWAP, for everyone else who's trying to hold out, wait for their RA, their religious exemption, that is, to or reasonable accommodation, sorry, to kick in. If it doesn't kick in by February 11th, they're done. So the fight here in New York City is gone. There is no more fighting. Unless a lawsuit pops up and changes everything around, it doesn't matter because the rest of us now have either been fired or retired. And to get back on the job, they're going to require... That, that was rhyming right there. They're going to require that we have the shot to get back on. So it doesn't even matter if the judge says it was uh, unconstitutional or whatever judge might find it unconstitutional. It wouldn't even matter because the job is going to require us to get the shot to get back on. So we, we lost either way. So there is no getting back on this. There's no uh, silver lining. There's no, well, this could happen. It doesn't matter. Once the job puts in their regs that you have to have this vaccine to get on this job, it's a wrap. All they want to do, guys, is cram this shit that doesn't work down our throats. All of it. All the rules, all the regulations, all the restrictions, all of it. So what do we do from there? Well, I, you guys know what I did, and a lot of other guys are going to do the same thing. I'm, I'm talking to a kid right now. Well, he's not a kid. But he's uh, probably about my age. He said he's going to bounce, right? As soon as this shit 
doesn't go through, he's gone. And I was like, damn, all right. You know, I mean, he's got military time, so he bought, he bought that time back, but he's gonna bounce too. There's a couple dudes, guys, that don't have the time and they're leaving. So guys are stepping up to the plate, guys are leaving, guys are sacrificing their shit, and that's pretty good. You know, when I hear that, it sucks. But the other side of me also says, I wasn't by myself, right? And that's, that's the one part about this whole thing, is that you feel like you're alone, but you're not. You know that there are other dudes out there that are doing the same thing, but it sort of doesn't help when you're sitting at home, you know, pondering the shit that just went down. And believe me, guys, we're going to be pondering this shit, thinking about it for a long time. This is not some shit that's all of a sudden going to um, go away. You know, the whole just get over it, it doesn't work with this because this is a different situation that none of us saw us having to tackle in our fucking careers. None of us would have never thought in a million years we would have to quit the job we love because of some shit that people want us to get. None of, none of us would ever saw that coming. So now that it's here and now that it, 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 it came and it passed, now a lot of us are like, shit, the fuck we going to do next? But like I said, I got a backup plan. I got a couple plans. So we'll see what works and what doesn't, right? Other than that, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can like and subscribe to The Outdoor channel. Sorry. You can like and subscribe to The Angry Prepper channel and The Angry Lensman channel. And other than that, guys, thank you for watching.